Welcome back. I know when you go shopping, you see all these new products and you think, should I go for it? Well, Bahar is here to tell you whether you should try or say goodbye. Right. So you've tested these products for our viewers. Absolutely. And uh, these are some fun spring trends, yes? Yes, you're going to see these. They started in the beginning of 2017. You're going to see this a lot more prevalently, be it on YouTube or Instagram or mm -hmm. social, but also maybe with some makeup artists or with some beauty experts actually advocating some of these. So okay. the first thing I'm talking about is the idea of the silicone makeup applicator. Yes. A lot of people are calling them the silicone sponges, mm -hmm. which I will tell you, there is one, it's called the Eevee Blender. I don't have that one with me. Yeah. That is, it just launched, I think it's launching in March, right? It's just launched. It is very specific. It has a sponge-like application, but it's made of silicone. The concept okay. is wonderful. Right now, what is on the market are things like the makeup drop or the silly sponge, all these things. It's basically a piece of silicone. Okay. Pretty squishy. And you're yeah. supposed to apply your makeup to your face, like your foundation or concealer, using one of these. That so, is, so you would use that instead of a sponge? That's right. And the idea is that you're going to use less product and it's easier to clean. Because mm. realistically, this piece of silicone, if you want to touch this, it's... Uh, that's very easy to clean. But how's that going to put it, get anything on your face? Right. It's not porous. Like, right. like we know the beauty blenders or those beauty sponges are porous and they help to move stuff around. So right. I'll show you. What uh, I'm gonna put, yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of product on the back of the sponge and then I'm gonna apply it to the back of my hand. So I'm gonna use typically what I would use for my face, mm -hmm. maybe that much like on a regular day. Yeah. So back of my hand, I'm just gonna start to put the product on and as you can see, all this is kind of doing. It doesn't blend it. That's right. It is moving product around because yeah. technically this is not porous, right? The product yeah. is sitting here. So if you don't wear that much makeup, if you are really looking for a tool to help blend your foundation and nothing you've tried, brushes or sponges, is helping out, give this a try. Okay. But I'm not super nuts about it, so mm. before you say goodbye, I'm suggesting, do you know all those heel inserts for your shoe? Yes. This is a piece of silicone, right? That's true. Why not just buy this, it comes in pairs, right? Share it with a friend, and uh -huh. uh, try using that to blend out and see if you like the application and you like the way it works because it washes off just the same. Yep. And then if you're nuts about it, sure, go ahead and invest in a silicone makeup sponge. Good tip. That's very good. Okay. I can tell you're kind of saying goodbye, though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like that you said it. I didn't want yeah, to say it. Right. No okay. So the next thing is turmeric in yes. skin care, body care, hair care. everywhere. Turmeric, it really is everywhere. everywhere. Just like kale is a superfood, blueberries yes. are a superfood, all these things are coming up. So turmeric or turmeric, both are correct, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, has not, it's not a new thing. It's no. been around for a very long time, <laughs> so right? Long. Right. In yeah. North America, maybe we're not as familiar with it because we don't use it in our cooking. Right. But in Asia, it's huge, mm -hmm. uh, especially in South Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, brides and grooms actually have a mask of, it's known as haldi or turmeric, with uh, yogurt and honey, and it helps to give them a glow to their skin, which is really nice, right? right? Who doesn't want a glow? So the reason they also use this in Ayurvedic medicine and everything is that it has anti-inflammatory properties. Yeah. It has uh, brightening properties. Mm -hmm. It also has antibacterial properties, which means if you are acne prone or if you have uh, dish, uh, issues dealing with oil on your scalp. Yeah. So I've brought products from all the range. So I have shampoo, hair care. I have skin care here. I have a cleanser that actually has it in. This is actually a wedding. It's called a wedding mask because the brides and grooms in South Asia who are putting this on before their weddings. It's yeah. Like tradition so there's actually also an overnight wedding mask and what this is going to do is help give you a glow help to mm -hmm. detoxify your skin a little bit and at the end of the day if you can incorporate turmeric into your system into your food in any way as well the benefits are absolutely outstanding so this is okay. definitely something you should try so try this absolutely. okay turmeric good uh, let's move on to here then. Okay, so the last one is um, the most entertaining. This yeah. is a uh, beauty trend of fake freckles. So, yes, yeah. I keep hearing about this. Isn't this the funniest thing? You have freckles, so I have you. freckles. And uh, what do people say? I love your freckles. I it love your freckles, show your freckles, Absolutely. show them all the time. So the reason that the faux freckle trend is there is that it yeah. gives a youthful glow. It makes it look like, I'm wearing a lot of makeup right now. These are heavy lights, right? But yes. you can still see my freckles. Right. And it gives you an appearance that you're not wearing as much makeup. Oh, so if you want to get it. this trend, I have a waterproof product, and that's important. So this is from Wet n Wild. It's just a waterproof liquid I liner. I find this hilarious, actually. It really is funny <laughs> at the end of the day. My husband looked at me last night is when there, I was talking about this. Is there a mold, uh, like a little mold or no. something? Oh, you're just going to it on? Do your freckles have a proper shape or size? No, no but and I think I've actually seen people like do the little there are, thing There are the tattoo mold. kits, like temporary yes. tattoo kits. Some people who get their eyebrows tattooed yes. are now getting their freckles tattooed. Then it looks so, like Raggedy Ann now. Exactly. It's too perfect. It looks a little bit odd. So the idea is that 
that you go ahead and you do this just randomly and because this is waterproof, you'll want to mm -hmm. move a little bit quicker. But if you pat it out, that yeah. gives, again, something a little bit more natural. You know what? That looks freckly. It looks like kind of like a freckle. And yeah. I've used something dark so you can actually see what it's supposed to look like. Then if you take your powder uh -huh. and you go over it as well to really, again, soften up the look of that. Yeah. This is the faux freckle look. Okay. So you just use liquid eyeliner. And you can use a powder if you want Doesn't to do that as look well. Doesn't so yeah. natural? Yeah, it looks so, so young and fresh. <laughs> right So there. this one you can definitely... You can say goodbye to this one. This say one's goodbye. silly. It's kind of silly. I don't know. But maybe, you know, for, for those out, yeah, out there that were like me and was trying to hide their freckles for so long, like embrace. You know, like Just be okay with it. it. Yeah. yeah.